Leza uh, comes from a street language world in French. Uh, we reverse world to, um, to have like kind of slang language in French. So my name uh, is Leza. Originally it's Alez and it means being comfortable with some some situation or people, whatever you want, but it means comfortable with. I never really realized that. I just at some point get that um, I love so much uh, spray paint and like the freedom to, uh, to paint in the street that it will be hard to, to stop. And 18 years later, I'm still doing it. So yeah, I guess it's just natural to me. I went uh, in Geneva Art School, so I learned graphic design over there. And the first year, I, um, I did a lot of drawings, academic drawings, uh, perspective, yeah, the basics of the drawings. The freedom, that's basically uh, why I'm still painting the street. It's to be free and express myself for everyone so that my paintings get accessible to everyone. My style is pretty much realistic. I try to make it as much as expressive as I can. And my inspiration comes from the daily life, what I, what I see, people I cross paths with. Everything is kind of inspiration for me. It can be old paintings, movies, old movies, new movies, a song and especially people. When I see people, I get inspired by old guys standing at a bus stop or a girl in a bar, a girl outside of the beach, in the street, walking, the dress, the accessories. It's kind of really inspiring for me. I would say it's the way people share art. Like basically, it's the same exactly roots. We come all from the graffiti, there is rules in the street and the rules are basically the same in Europe, in America or Asia. But what changed the, the most for me, it's the way people get the, this artwork, like the way people share, the way people look at it. Here in America, it's way more uh, mediatic. People uh, picture it, photograph it. Um, they want interview uh, from the artists in Europe. It's less like this, it's stay more in the streets. <laughs> Uh, I collaborate with, uh, with Rose, the founder of my collective Army of Snipers. We uh, did a mural in LA back in 2011. I collaborate with a bunch of Miami street artists here also, uh, last year and two years ago. And uh, yeah, collaboration is part of the, the street art, you know, graffiti street art. Uh, we always end up collaborating together and like trying to, to go in the same way, to go to be on the same page for one project. My first solo show was uh, back in 2008 in Geneva. For the first time I exhibit my paintings on canvas, was acrylic and uh, I felt really good about it. I was, um, I was proud that uh, Gary asked me to show my artwork. Um, you know, for me it's like kind of really the same. Uh, it's just part of me to paint or in the street or to drawings or paint on canvas. I draw since I'm a kid, so for me it has been always part of me and one day I just, I've just been lucky enough that a gallery asked me to, to show my artwork. Street art is really important because it brings culture in the street, which means um, the culture will be accessible to everyone. Everybody that just walk in the street can stay 10 minutes, one hour, one entire day looking at your paintings and think about something, share it with the family and friends, talk about this. They don't have to pay any fees to go in a museum or gallery or whatever it is. It's just here in the street, accessible to everyone. And it's also a reflection of the society. With that, you can really read what's, what's going on around the world. <laughs> I'm currently working on two commission murals here in Miami and after like uh, I'm, keep, I'm keep going with my paintings. I should have uh, again a collective show in the US. cannot really tell you uh, where it's gonna be but uh, I'm working on my paintings and I hope I have a uh, next collective show back in Europe too.